and media activism is really what I'm interested in. My PhD research is around how to reclaim the media from the corporations, especially around mega events such as the Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games. So I did some stuff in Vancouver where I worked with um, local independent media organisations and activist groups who were using the Olympic Games as a frame to, to further their causes in terms of what they wanted to get out of that. And uh, from that, I'm working as part of an organisation called Media 2012, where I'm the coordinator, the national coordinator, where I speak to groups around the 13 regions of the Olympic Games that GlowCog have defined, and I get them to sign up to sort of projects which are related to citizen media. So citizen really is, is the Scotland's arm of what's going to be happening. Um, media 2012 was devised in October um, 2010 in Manchester as part of AND Festival. Um, where we decided to launch a community network for the Olympic Games. So we are not interested in covering the things that you will see in the mainstream media, which will be sport predominantly, and most people come at the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games as a sport-based phenomenon. We're interested in everything else, and that is completely open game for what we can actually do as citizens who can produce media. Um, what I've got with me here is the Media 2012 Charter, which kind of replicates the Olympic Charter, it looks like this. It's available to download on our website, media2012.org.uk, but the most important thing that's on the back of this is our Media 2012 accreditation. So you can join us as a part of our media network where you print off your own media pass and you join the media community around the, around the games. If you think that this is crazy that you're printing off fake passes, we did this in Vancouver and 300 of us got into various locations including sport venues, pavilions, sponsorship, um, we got access to press releases, access to news wires, this works. So part of Media 2012, we're encouraging you to become a journalist and, and automatically for a citizen really you become part of the 2012 network. So there's potential to re reach not only a national network but an international network. There's people connected through Vancouver, Sochi in Russia which is doing the next Winter Olympic Games and Rio 2016, where we're already starting to build a network there. So I encourage you today just to go away go to media2012.org.uk and uh, print off your own media pass and you can too be a journalist. And I'm going to lead on to John, because John's actually our East Midlands um, partner who's also heavily involved, is that right? Yeah, yeah um, thanks very much. And we've, yes. got, <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got John Costa.